people. This evening I'm sitting next to my window and I just want to go through these fat quarters that I found at the thrift store yesterday. Um, there's quite a bit here and I kind of just want to look through them with you guys. Um, I'm about to sew up some stuff for Easter and I have a few dolls, two of which don't have names and one does have a name. Um, but they're kind of like my Easter dolls and they're kind of like in that pastel sort of a color scheme. And I want to make something for them from this. I also have, I also have a, f a few ribbons and stuff. I actually tied these fat quarters together. There were three sets and now I have like three really pretty ribbons and I don't like to throw these out. I like to use them. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna hang. We're gonna talk. Let me introduce you guys to the few dolls that I have sitting here. I'm gonna show this big girl first because I feel like it'll be difficult to get her in the screen. Okay, she's pretty big. <laughs> she's pretty big. <laughs> Hold up. So this is an 18 inch vintage doll. Um, she's a total custom. She's had a face up by me and she's been totally and fully rerouted by Nina's Dolls on Instagram. She does reroutes, really beautiful reroutes, mind you. I've got several dolls by her. Um, and I can't remember her stock name off the top of my head. I actually have to look through a book. She's pretty old. Um, but she's dressed here in like purples and stuff to match her hair. She's one of the girls that I'm really excited to sew for because her color scheme is perfect for Easter. Okay, this girly, I feel like I gave her a name at some point, but it's, what's happening is I can't remember her name. And whenever that happens, I feel like the name didn't stick. It didn't stick. So she kind of needs another name. But she's so cute look at how well dressed she is this character she always wants to be nicely dressed and her style is so fun i actually made this for an integrity doll and it looks just as good on her and then the last girl she actually does have a name this girl is pico this is my little sweet little pig girl i believe she's um She's a Boca doll head on a neon star body. I love this body. Um, she's so cute. I put her on this body because it's a little bit more like chubbier. And I felt like that would fit really nicely with this adorable little pig. She's so cute. Um, as you can see, there's a theme. Like, purple hair is my jam. I've got so many dolls rooted in purple hair, it's insane. So yeah, I wanna I wanna get Pico in something, preferably like bloomers and a, a like a baby doll dress, but I want the baby doll I want the baby doll dress to be a little shorter so it would show off those bloomers, I'm thinking for her. Yeah. I'm probably gonna need to sketch something up just so I can get a better idea of what I really want for her. She's so sweet. Yeah, let's look through the fat quarters now. So I think I'm gonna power through these. I'm not gonna like sit here and look at them in depth. Um, I wanna look at the prints. I wanna see if I can find some lining fabrics with the prints. When I was choosing these out, the thing that really drew me in was in fact the prints. I mean, I'm, I'm a sucker for a good print. So hopefully there's lining in here. I do have lining fabrics that would probably fit these color schemes, but hopefully, still hopefully, there's some lining fabrics in here. So this very first one, right off the bat, oh my God. It's like unicorns at sleep. That's so cute. I love all the colors and it shimmers. Excited about that. Love a good polka dot. These are like red and pink. Or maybe that's like violet and pink. I'm not sure. I actually think they're red and pink. This might actually be good for a uh, lining fabric. I like lining stuff in soft polka dot fabrics. Ooh. 
Those those are horses. No, they're they're unicorns. Oh my god. I have sequin. Hold up. So I kind of have been getting into clown core. Oh god, that would probably be really cute on there. I don't know why this fabric makes me want to make something for a clown themed doll and use these sequins. I'm gonna pin these sequins there. I'm imagining I could use this fabric with the sequins with a striped fabric. Hopefully there's stripes here somewhere and make a clown outfit. I feel like that would be so cute, oh my God. Oh, a basic blue. All right, this is perfect for lining. It's just blue cotton fabric. Perfect, I'm gonna sit that over here. Lining fabric. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like tie-dye. Yeah, that looks more like pastel blue and pink tie-dye situation. That's cute. Rainbows. I'm probably gonna make something for Pico out of this. Hold up. Oh, that would be darling. Especially if I can get that rainbow, like, on her chest or near her face. That would be cute. So I actually thought that this was the outside of this fabric because it looks so faded. Nope, this is the fabric itself. It's supposed to kind of look almost like acid wash. They're green, blue, pink, and purple hearts. I almost wish that it had like sayings on the heart, like the heart candies. This would be cute. Maybe I could actually use my Cricut for once and actually put a saying on one of the hearts that's like right side up on the outfit. I'm not sure what I would make with this. Maybe it could be an underskirt. Or maybe I can make a, petti a petticoat. Yes, that clown core outfit is coming together. Look at that. That would be perfect. Because imagine like the little tiny dress on top. Like sequins and stuff. But then the bloomers would be this. And maybe I can even line the fabric with this. I meant the outfit with this. Okay. I think we need another color. I think we need one more color and then I'm like totally thinking Easter clown outfit situation. More lining fabric, it's just plain pink. Perfect. Oh my God. How did I look out and get so much unicorn fabric? And I like that it's not really being picked up on camera but it kind of shimmers. Like the, what are these, stars? Yeah. The little tiny stars in the background here, they shimmer. Maybe I could, wait a minute, where's that other fabric? Maybe I could put these two together somehow. They would definitely complement each other. Maybe a romper? Hmm. Oh, these are buttons. That's so cute. <laughs> I was looking, I was like, sunflowers? And I was like, no, that's not sunflower. These look like buttons. Yeah. I think these are buttons, but there's some kind of flower. This is cute. I do like this. Maybe, yeah. See, I could make a bodice, line it with this. That would be so cute. This reminds me of a rainbow fabric that I have, but this is not like the rainbow spectrum. It's more of a pastel situation. It kind of reminds me of Sherbert almost. I like this. If you look, if you look close, there are like lots of little hexagonal designs. It almost looked like reptilian skin. That's cute. This will be so cute as jeans. Yeah, I feel like this will be so cute as jeans for this girl right here. Yeah, that would be cute. Or even a dress. Because that looks good on her skin. This kind of reminds me of an oil painting I've seen years ago. This is really pretty. I actually don't think either of the girls that I have sitting here would look bad in this. 
but for whatever reason it's giving me more mature vibes like i want to make something for my smart doll or even like any of my integrity girls with this this is nice picos like look at her this is perfect i don't know what i would make maybe a romper i don't know maybe a dress maybe even a jacket but this has to go on pico at some point yeah it's almost plain it's almost plain purple or violet uh like a soft violet but it's almost like tie-dye like like that pattern on there more lining fabric more lining fabric 100 percent making jeans out of this because look at that that is so cute yeah making jeans that oh you know what i'm making jeans but i'm not even hold on so she doesn't have a name she's one of my many mizzy dolls that don't have names um making jeans for her out of this that's ha that's happening that's 100 percent look at that i could even make a crop and it would go so good with like her screening Hells yes. This is so darling. Would you look at those colors? Oh my god, hold up. Yeah, yeah, that's gotta happen. That's got look, oh. She's gonna look so cute in this, whatever I make out of it. Oh, that's perfect. That, yeah, and I think I might make a dress, a dress bodice, and then I could kind of do like patchwork with the skirt. Because I don't think this will be enough to make a full dress. No, it won't. Oh, this is so cute. I don't know what I would make with this, but <laughs> I like how fun it is. And you know what? I'm looking at it from, looking at it from this angle. But it, when I sew with something, I think I'm going to have to put that fabric like that. Yeah, that way the, it's kind of going like that. That's fun. Again, this will be so cute with that clown. Look, 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 look. So imagine a dress, bloomers, and somewhere I put this fabric. Somewhere. I don't know how I would incorporate it. But this would make a smashing clown outfit. It's another one of those fabrics that I actually thought that this was the inside of the fabric because it's kind of faded. But no, this is the fabric. And I actually really like this because I feel like I could even do like some bleach work to make it look more acid wash. And that would be really cute for any fashion doll really because the hearts are kind of, they're kind of oversized but they're just the right size to be still in the same like scale I think she would like that you know what I wonder if these two yeah that would be cute these two like the dress that I intend to make with this I think this fabric would go good with it they're stars and they're kind of shimmery but I feel like they go like they fit Especially if I, I toss in like, just like a straight up regular color. Yeah, that would be darling. Yep, making jeans. This is 100% gonna be jeans. Like the camera's not picking up the color of the sheen, but the color of the sheen is kind of almost like an aquamarine color with that purple in the background. Uh-huh, into that. Oh, and it matches my nails almost. That's so cute. This is another one of those prints that feel mature to me. I feel like this is actually giving me like 80s vibes. And I love those vibes. And I feel like I need to make something out of this for a more mature doll. Okay, we're almost done. We have a few more left here. And then if this footage isn't too long, we might talk designs. But maybe that could be another video. 
This is cute. I actually thought that these were flowers. I actually think that they're wings. Yeah, they look like bird wings. To me. Yeah, they're definitely feathers. Yeah. So again, I feel like this would totally look good on a more mature doll. I'm also thinking about sewing up that kimono pattern from Danny Chu. I'm folding this back up. And I feel like that might look cute as a kimono. Another shimmery fabric. This, <laughs> not to be morbid, but I swear this looks like brains to me. <laughs> like shimmery brains. This could be used as a Halloween fabric. I do like it though. This is really cute. For some, there's something about this. There's something about this that reminds me of Barbie. This fabric and this fabric actually. They kind of remind me of Barbie. Like, Barbie around like the 2000s, like the early 2000s for some reason. Oh, I'm so happy this hasn't happened often in this video, but I actually don't really care for this. No, and it's crazy because all of these colors are my favorite, but I don't, I think the white is what's throwing it off. Like I wish there were a little bit more blue where the white parts are. And then this little gray spot, maybe that gray spot is what's causing me to feel weird about it. I don't like this fabric. So because I don't like it, I'm probably gonna sew with it first just to get it gone. <laughs> it's gonna be on the inside of something, I think. More polka dots. It can never have too many polka dots. I have polka dots in so many different ways and shapes and fashions and this is just so cute that that yellow color that yellow color is probably gonna go really good with that dress that I wanted to design for the bigger girl and then this was <laughs> this was one of the fabrics I had to have I love jelly bean fabric I, I like every kind of jelly bean fabric this one seems older than the one that I have hold on let me grab a swatch here's here's um the jelly bean fabric that I got from Joann's and I actually made a pair of shorts for one of my smart dolls out of this and this looks like somebody took a picture of jelly beans and then printed it on the fabric while this looks more like a storybook like somebody drew this and then printed it like, like it's a digital painting and I like both like they both rock I just think that is so cute. I love that. Oh, I love that. Yeah, like this looks like a picture while this looks like old. Like maybe it was printed in a children's book. I like that. All right, so I took a little bit of time and I turned out some sketches for that clown outfit. So... Here are the fabrics that I really want to use. This polka dot fabric. I want to use these because I never get a chance to, but I might end up using pom poms because it, it kind of goes with the, the idea that I really want for this outfit. Definitely using this. Like this fabric, more than all of the fabric, really inspired me like a lot. Here, let, let me show you where it inspired me the most. So these are the bloomers that I'm looking at and I'm thinking this is definitely going to be the bloomers, this fabric here. Um, if you look in the, in the background, I didn't do very much work in the way of making this more detailed, but in the background, you see I have like little mock-ups of like polka dots and I'm thinking that's where I'll put this because looking at these on top of each other that that really I like that like having this in the front of that so the skirt might be lined in this so with that being said I'm pretty I'm pretty ironclad on those plans but as far as like what the actual outer skirt and the bodice will be uh, we'll figure it out because I don't know yet um I do think that the puff sleeves 
the puff sleeves will also be this stripey fabric. So, so far we've got stripes here, there, and then the, the background here will be the polka dots. Um, the reason why I was saying I want to use these, but might end up using pom-poms is because of this little headdress that I designed. Hold up. Look at that headdress. I'm excited to make this. I actually, the, the colors here, they're none of the colors that will probably actually make it to the finished piece just because I was just kind of going off. Um, but I love this kind of jester hat feel. I actually saw something like this on Instagram recently where there was, uh, I'm, a, I'm thinking a drag queen where their aesthetic is more clown core and they were wearing something like this and I thought, oh, I'd love to make something like that. And then here we are. So I'm liking the idea of seeing if I could squeeze this into a headdress. That would be so dope. Like actual cocaine. It would be so cool. And then what if I even like, okay, so you remember those fabrics I was showing you? This is the one that looks like a picture. This is the one that looks like it's vintage or whatever. But then like imagine those together in that headdress that would be the most iconic shit in the world i think i actually might end up making the headdress before i actually get to the outfit although the headdress would probably be harder than the outfit because i feel like i can turn this out in an afternoon where i'm gonna have to think about because i want this to be stuffed like I want it to be a hat, but then I want these two sections to be like stuffed because I have this idea that I'll take like pins and stick the pins in the head to add more of an edgier feel. Oh my God, that would be so fucking cool. Yeah, so like a pin cushion situation. Oh my God, and then of course, pom-poms. So I figured if I ended up making this headdress and putting pom-poms at the top, I feel like putting pom-poms on the bodice would just tie it all together, yeah. And then I'm contemplating socks, even though I fucking hate sewing socks, but I'm contemplating it. I'm thinking about it. And then this is just kind of like what I want it to look like. I'm thinking about a bow somewhere. This bow might end up being really big and on the back of the garment if I end up making this headdress. Or I could make a bow that could clip somewhere in the middle of the headdress. Oh my God, that would be so cute. Oh, I have to end the video now because I need to gather my thoughts a little bit more, but I'm thinking I might make this outfit for Pico. It might get made for Pico. I do feel like this is a small size. It's squeezing all those details in there. Might be a little difficult. You know, my design and plans might actually be more grand than what the outfit might turn out to actually be <laughs> although her head is pretty big so i do think that that headdress will work i think it'll work oh, we'll see i'll update you guys but that's all for tonight and i'll see you guys in my next one the favorite comment of the week for this video would be all right and i'll see you guys later bye Oh, 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 oh,